Hey y'all, let's check out Canaloa Surf Beach. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're going to be checking out Canaloa Surf Beach. This is a beach themed Sam. I am not in the shared environment and this land is TP friendly. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So keeping with the beach theme, I just wanted to do something super simple today. So I got on just some little basic accessories, you know, no wrist candy because we are at the beach, you guys. For the bikini, I just went with a real simple two-piece little gray get-up. Um, in my hand, I have my little sunscreen with my shades, and then I have my beach bag with all of my beach necessities, my flip-flops, my beach towels, you know, my little hydration. And look at the cute little charm on my bag, you guys. I love it. So no shoe cam today because my shoes are in my bag. So this is my outfit, you guys. So let's go ahead and continue. So my first impressions of this land is that it is very colorful. And I really like that this car gives me retro vibes. So we'll see if this carries um, throughout the beach. We just shall see you guys. What a little doggy. So you guys, I had to cut my nails. So if you are not, um, an OG OG like back when I was doing vlogs and you're here um, newer to my second live content I have an allergy to acrylic as well I like this bag as gel when it comes to the nails it really really sucks but I didn't always have an allergy I developed one over time I guess just from getting my nails done so much my body was just like and eh, no, we, we don't want to do this anymore so I started doing my own press-ons I've tried to get around um it I tried poly gel and it's just a no-go all gel everything gel polish and everything just really really gives me a bad reaction so I started to do um, poly, not poly gel nails. I started to do press ons. So I am a long nail girly. I am in the long nail girl group. You know, I don't wear my nails like super duper long. Oh, they over here on the bow. We gonna pan in on them. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away so they don't know I'm panning in on them. And then we gonna pan in on them. Cause you know, my thing is I love to see people on the lands. Oh, cute little birdie. But I also like to see how people interact with the items on the land because when I go to these lands, I am dolo solo. I hope this ain't a sad piece. We won't get her face. No face, no case, you know? Super cute. Um, so I like to see how the couple animations look um, with certain items on the land. So because I do my poly gels and I am a long nail girly, um, I do my I do my nails long now in the beginning it was not a big issue this is a cute little bar type area are these yep these are all shareables but um, because I it wasn't an issue at first I was able to maneuver around them but because I am doing more editing and now I use the uh, hotkeys when I record which I did not always do it is like it has become difficult to edit with the nails and so yeah right before I did this video I had to cut my nails down because I was just pressing keys that I wasn't trying to press it was just becoming very difficult and I'm like if this is doing this right now I'm not gonna be able to survive the video these flowers are so pretty Look how pretty they are. I love those colors. So yeah, so I cut them down. And you know, do I did I want to? No. Did I need to? Yes. Yes, I did. What did it say? No. Oh. No watch. Oh, no watches, no worries, no clocks, no cares, no deadlines, no drama. I know that's right. So now I'm 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 a short nail girly, you know, for the sake of of the craft because when we explore y'all i like to be free with the exploring i don't want to feel no type of way about pressing no keys i wasn't trying to press and things like that did we see this down here yeah we saw that because then we turned around and went to see the little bar right here 
so side note you guys i got some all oh, these are so adorable i got some microphone accessories so i'll put the items that i got up on the screen really quickly i did get these items from timu could i have got them from amazon yes but they're cheaper on timu and it was not like uh, i need it right now i could wait so i ordered them on the 16th and i received those items today where they said i was going to get it on the 26th so i actually got it a day earlier oh look at them so i was really really appreciative of that so i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell the difference but you know i'm up in the game some you know i want to be able to sound more crisp when i talk to you guys and when we go to um all of the different um explorations that we go to i just want it to be just even much more crisp that much more crisp and just that much more um clear basically you know basically i also bought a stepper and yes did i get influenced by tiktok absolutely but was i about to pay 15 dollars and shipping and handling from tiktok absolutely not and being honest i ordered the stepper along with these microphone accessories and i ordered the stepper on the 16th and the stepper came on like the 20th i want to say i'm gonna check the time out and put it up so I don't, I don't have no beef no beef and where else are you gonna go to get two hundred dollars worth of coupons i'm just saying so you can surf here so they do have nice little activities you can like get on a board and you can surf we might surf a little later you know i, I don't know what's over here so this seems like a little surf shop. Now, have I um, purchased items from Timu? Absolutely. I purchased a lot of things from Timu. And let me say, I've never had an issue with them. I purchased a lot of my nail accessories from them. And I don't have a problem with Timu. I always get my orders in the time frame, within the time frame that they say I should get it. And the items are always as described. So would i recommend you purchasing some items from timu absolutely and, and get you a coupon now are they gonna harass you it's a big possibility it's a big possibility because they they do take the fashion nova approach they what you are gonna get is them spamming you crazy um with coupons I'm just saying, but you know, a deal is a deal. But yeah, so I wanted the stair stepper and I love this space. It's so pretty and pink. I wanted the stair stepper, you guys, but I'm like, everyone that I looked at off of TikTok was like $15 was the shipping and handling. I'm not paying no $8 shipping. I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing that. This is super cute. Does this give you stuff? No, but it's super cute. It's giving me dust bunny vibes. I love these. Look how colorful this space is. What we've been looking at more. Look how cute this space is. Oh, and then the pool is shaped like a mermaid. Do you guys see it? Cute. Or like a fish, like a fish tail or a mermaid. It, it, whatever. It's whatever you want it to be. So I am somebody who I am not easily influenced, but I do get influenced. I do get influenced, especially when it comes to um, like exercise items and things like that. I did not get on that. Um, this is a shareable, super pretty. I did not get on that turmeric bar train i did not was i tempted absolutely i did try that baking soda hack for my face because i wanted to kind of like try to see if i could eliminate i have like larger pores on my face i don't know what that's about but it didn't work for me it didn't work for me but when i started to incorporate more water um the my pores got smaller i try to i drink water 98 percent of the time however there are times where I just like really do really great with my water. And then there are times that I do not so great with my water. Did we look at everything I wanted to see here at the bar? Yes. And so I haven't been doing so great with my water. So normally I try to drink about three liters of water every day at the least. But lately, what is this? Oh, this is just for syrup. I guess they, guess they have like other 
water options. I try to do three liters um, a day, sometimes more, but lately it has been less than three liters. Sometimes I get like one liter down. Now I also, I wanna look at this view. I also um, eat a lot of fruits. And so I do get water from the fruits and things like that. But I have noticed that even though I eat the fruit, when I drink the water, it just gives me a more hydrated look when I just when I look at my face. I just I just look more hydrated than when I'm like eating mostly fruit and drinking water. So I'm trying to get back into drinking water. I was so upset. Um well not upset but I was very disappointed when I learned that a lot of these waters like they make claims that they're like such great water but they're not like really the best water. A lot of it does taste good but it's just not it's not as good for you as they claim it to be i am a water drinker so all water does not taste the same if you know you know um for me i like thinner tasting water i like thinner waters i don't know if that makes sense to some people but like sometimes you want sometimes the water will taste thick like the consistency of orange juice and then i like but i like my water to be thin like the consistency of like cranberry juice which is just a very nice light flowy this is a little empty space this would be cute for some um like if you have like a beachy land just like a cute little restaurant or something like that this will look, be really cute for that oh they got some little floaties in the water so a lot of the waters that i have tasted they are like a they taste thick and i don't like that oh i see them okay it's people here i'm loving this what y'all doing we gonna we just gonna show you sir no face no case we don't know you know super cute i hope they got some really cute pictures and so I've switched waters out like, ugh, a bunch, a bunch of times, you guys, a bunch. Oh, they have the little hammock. I love this. And now I am drinking, what is this called? Waiakia. I feel like it's a, I feel like I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. I'm going to put the name up. And I really, really like this water. So I want to try out some of their activities we'll start here so this is so cute you guys so this is like a little you could be on the surfboard and you can fly your kites super nice so yeah i'm gonna be just i'll be back on the lookout for more uh to be totally honest i'm just gonna be back on the lookout for more water if it turns out that this is not a good water for whatever reason let's try something else so here they let you serve well let me see if i can catch the wave yeah I'm gonna let me catch the wave can i catch the wave come on come on catch it ah, i caught it you guys out the wave you guys i love this so they have really nice interactive activities how cool is this super cool and it seems like you can go out pretty far um with your surfboards so this is a pretty big land Let's see, let's catch one more wave, then we'll try something else. Ah, catch it. Super cool. So I was very, very just, today was like a chill day for me, you guys. So I'm late recording this video. This is gonna be a long night of, well, not a very long night of editing, but it's gonna be a late night of editing. Oh, cute, super cute. What options do they have? Okay. So they have this little rope where you can go up here and they give you all these cute little poses. I kept telling myself like, go ahead and just record it now. And I don't know. 
I just was really just kind of chilling today. I knew I was going to do a video, of course, but I wanted to do it earlier. Every time I tell myself, like, you know, we're going to do a video earlier, it just does not work out that way. They have a lot of different sitting options here. I love these pillows. I love it, love it, love it. Let's see what animations they have here. So this place definitely gives me like couple vibes and I really like it. So they have lots of cute little um, poses that you can be in for some really cute pictures and just to relax, listen to the water, enjoy yourselves. It looks like it's something in the water. Let me find out they got an underwater world because I'm sure about to fall up in this water and see. I feel like my editing is getting faster. Just want to point that out. I do feel like my editing is getting faster. And I do like that because it's not daunting. Since I've been doing Second Life content, I'm just taking you guys along with me. I really, really enjoy the editing. When I was doing my vlogs, I just felt like I was, how cute is this? A little turtle. I felt like I was vlogging what I felt like people wanted to vlog and not necessarily what I wanted to vlog. So the editing felt a little bit daunting. I was trying to do what everybody else was doing. Not so much like that's what people wanted to see, but I just wanted to do what I saw people doing. And I'm like, okay, well it's working for them, but they enjoyed vlogging. They enjoy doing the lifestyle vlogs and things like that. And although there are a lot of aspects to lifestyle vlogging that I did enjoy and I do enjoy, what I was doing as far as my vlog style, I can honestly say I was not really enjoying that, especially when it came to editing. So they have a bunch of different seating spaces, lots of different seating options, different seating shapes. This looks so comfy. Let's see what's going on in this water. So you guys, they tricked us. So did they trick us or was it just part of the decoration? So it was not um, any kind of underwater activities. This land on this side actually does not go out that far. So you guys, I definitely enjoy checking out Canaloa Surf Beach with you guys. This is a wonderful spot to come to just to chill and relax and just enjoy the activities as well as the beachy vibes. I hope you guys enjoy this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. The land Landmark for this place will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.